I'm here at the UForge booth and I am talking with AJ from Ajax 3D about the TD1. How's it going? Cool, so give us a walk through what the TD1 does. Yeah, so um, for those who don't know, you know, T for UForge, in order for it to accurately predict how this is gonna look when you print it, it has to know that opacity value or you know transparency value. We refer to that as TD or transmission distance. And so I made TD1 because before that, um, there was a lot of like printed tests that were very hard to, well, not really hard. It was tricky to read for some people. Um, there was some subjectivity to it. And then there was, uh, it took a while, right? 30, 30 to 45 minutes to print this. Then so you have waste, you have, well, waste because you can't really use it. Then you have um, time to print it. So I figured it'd be easier to have a digital way of testing that. So instead of doing a 30 to 45 minute test, TD1 can do it in about three seconds. It does TD in about a second or less and color within the next three seconds. So total, total scan time of just over three seconds and you have the values you need and it integrates directly into Hueford. So when you, when you do a scan on screen, you'll get the real time value. So there's our TD. And then, like I said, about two, three, three seconds later, we get the color code. And then that pops up directly on Hueforge with the color code it just scanned and the TD value. This seems pretty dang close as far as color goes, but color isn't perfect because it is, you know, a pretty inexpensive sensor and we're measuring on a one by two millimeter opening. And so it's kind of tricky to, to get good, accurate color on, on that kind of configuration. So sometimes you'll have like uh, grays and green, uh, grays and blacks might be slightly green shifted. So if it is wrong, you can always double click on this and you can drag this around to the correct color or you can darken or lighten it if that's all it takes. And then once it visually looks okay, you can just hit okay and save it. But uh, yeah, you would just name the brand and the name. And if you hit add, it'll clear out the name, assuming you're gonna keep doing the same brand and type. And then if not, you can always edit it and, and change it, but uh, you can just scan through all your filaments. So you can go through 10, 20 filaments in less than five minutes. And then you have them over on your in your library where you can bring them down and predict. Excellent. Yeah, it has been such a popular product. We really had trouble keeping them in stock, as you well know, since, yeah. <laughs> since you... Uh, since I, I make them all, yeah. Yeah, so they are available in either a complete, yep. which is fully assembled, ready to go, yeah, so or the DIY. They're the DIY all through hole soldering. Uh, print your own parts. Only really important thing about the printed parts is that the sensor mount be in black, and then the rest can be in whatever color you like, and then... The, the, the I want it to work now option. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks a lot for building yeah. this. It makes it so much easier than us as a, a filament company having to go through and, and provide all that information. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. Which, you know, also becomes a thing because, you know, as much as we pride ourselves on having consistent color, you know, there can be a little drift from roll to roll. Yeah, so. it's, it's hard with the current technology around how filament's made, you know? So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for taking some time to uh, show us the TD1. Yeah, thank you for your time.